The next Swift Justice case starts right now. Plaintiff Joanne Williams is suing her ex-boyfriend for a personal loan. She's asking for $3,000. Defendant Danny Daniels says he owes nothing because the money was payment for work he did on her rental condos. He's countersuing for $4,500 for that work. The litigants are bound by the court ruling from Judge Jackie Glass. Joanne, you're here today as the plaintiff, and you are suing your ex-boyfriend, Danny. And he is countersuing you. You had given him three thousand dollars correct you were in a relationship with danny in the fall of 2008 right right he moved in with you and the plan was to get married correct right yes all right and we have some pictures of happier times there we are and you said that he was very jealous and constantly spying on you how did he do that um, after we broke up, he came back to my house and installed a keylogger on my computer to um, access my email accounts, and he also monitored some of the websites I was visiting. But that was after you broke up or before you broke up? Well, we were talking about getting back together, but that was after he had moved out. All right, so you're together, you, you think you're going to get married. You say he's jealous, you end the relationship, then you get back together with him. He had convinced me that it was my fault that he had jealousy and anger issues. That's your fault? Yeah, because I have male friends and he, he didn't even like me spending time with my fem female friends. But definitely not any male friends. So he's the controlling type? Yes, but he won't. He wouldn't have meant to it. But even though you knew that's how he was, he convinced you that that was your fault, so you got back together. Yes. But here's what I have. You became friendly again and started emailing, in, and in September of 2010, he wanted out of his new relationship but felt guilty because his new girlfriend had no place to go. He also said that he had bought a TV and computer with her, and he would have to pay it off before he could, he could leave her. Right. And that's what became the subject of the money that you gave him. Correct. So, you, in November of 2010, cashed a check from the sale of some coins and gold, and you gave him $3,000. Yes, I deposited the money into his account. You put it in his bank? Yeah, I have the receipt. And you're not seeing each other at the time? We were planning on getting back together. We were seeing each other. You're planning on getting back together, and you're get, after he's breaking up with the one now, and he needs money to pay off for the stuff, you go and give the man who has been stalking you $3,000. Right? Yes. And you said it's a loan. Yes. Did you I, tell him it was a loan? Yes, he understood. He said he promised he would pay me back when he got his tax return. And is he now back with the woman that he was with when he had to get money to pay for the TV and the computer? Yes, he had told me that he didn't want to be alone, so he was, took her back. Coming up. I confronted her about these other men in her life. We had went to counseling to try to fix our relationship. The counselor had told Joanne that she needed to get all the men in the background out of her life for our relationship to work. Joanne refused. Closed captioning provided by... Swift Justice with Jackie Glass continues. Williams versus Daniels. The plaintiff in this case says her relationship with the defendant was plagued by jealousy and verbal abuse. She says she loaned him $3,000 and she wants it back. So, Danny, you say you don't owe Joanne any money, and in fact, she owes you more money. Yeah. And you met in 2008, and things became very serious. You moved in together, and you became engaged. Mm-hmm. She describes you as the jealous, controlling type. Yeah. Are you? No, I'm not. Did you install spyware yes, on her computer? Yes, I did. You did? I did. Yes, I did. Why did I, you do that? I had confronted her about these other men in her life. We had went to counseling to try to fix our relationship. The counselor 
had told Joanne that she needed to get all the men in the background out of her life for our relationship to work. Joanne refused. Did you have an exclusive relationship? Uh, well, every time we were back together, I thought that meant we were together. Did you have it, discussions about the parameters of your relationship? Uh, yeah, we did. Many. Very many. So obviously, this is the, a very dysfunctional relationship the two of you have. You break up, you get together. You break up, you get together. You told her you had $2,500 in debt to pay off, and she gave you $3,000, right? Yeah, yeah, we had discussed uh, where we were going to go, you know, how our lives were going to fit together again. I had told her that I had this debt that I needed to take care of, and then I would be okay on solid footing financially. And a couple days later, uh, she comes home and hands me that receipt and says that she put that money in my bank account, and I said, thank you. So you didn't ask her for it? We had talked about it, and uh, no, no, she you had didn't, never... No, no, you didn't answer my question. Your Honor, she said that, I asked you, did you ask her for that money? I did not ask. Straight out ask her for money. I told her that I needed to get this bill paid off. Okay, and did you tell me in your paperwork that she said you already earned it? Yes, she did. And why did you earn it? Um, she owns many rental properties, and during our time together, I did uh, hundreds of hours of work on and those properties. And I think we have some pictures of some of those With her and without her. All right, so are these some of her rental properties? Yes, and I remodeled can... a couple bathrooms in there. Uh, we completely went through this whole house. And when in relationship to the work did you get the check? How, oh, the how... work was way, way gone. Way, way? Yeah. Way? Yes. How much way? Like over about a year. And you want, you think that you did 300 hours of work on those at rental least. properties. So you're countersuing for your work at $15 an hour for $4,500. Yes. Travel consideration provided by. Was your wedding a nightmare instead of a dream and someone needs to pay? Submit your case to Judge Jackie Glass at SwiftJustice.com. Williams versus Daniels. The plaintiff says her ex-boyfriend owes her $3,000 for a personal loan. The first thing I'm going to do is suggest to both of you that you find yourself good counselors and go learn about healthy relationships. The second thing I'm going to suggest is that you never, ever, 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 and that means never, have any contact with each other ever again because you're not good for each other. All right, I, um, I suspect that, Danny, you did work on properties at a time when you were together in a relationship, and I don't understand how uh, so much later you expect to be compensated for that work. Honor, and we're not having I, a discussion. I just wanted just, to ask one question. I'm, I'm, we're not having, I'm, I'm ruling, we're not having a discussion. If the payment had been right after the time of the work, I could understand. Okay, here's the work you did, here's what it is, I'm going to pay you. Joanne, I know you sold the gold and the coins, and I know that you put the money in the account in about the time frame that you said that you did. So based on all of that, court's ready to rule. Judge Jackie's binding decision is next. Judge Jackie's decision is now. I find that the $3,000 was not payment for work that he had previously done, because that would have come a lot quicker, and that you, in fact, did loan him $3,000. And I find that the work you did was because you were in a relationship, and that's what you were doing for your girlfriend's properties that you were going to go off into the sunset with and marry. Court finds in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $3,000, and court finds against the defendant and awards him nothing. This case is closed. If your ex owes you money, like in the case Judge Jackie Glass just heard, give us your comments on Facebook or Twitter at The Judge Glass.